And as we heard earlier in the program, extreme weather is having a real impact. And in Australia, a severe drought is continuing to devastate many areas, with rivers still running dry in the middle of winter. 2018 has brought some of the warmest and driest conditions for decades, and charities have had to send aid to help farmers and rural communities. New South Wales is one of the worst hit states. From Mayor Howell Griffith sent this report. They're calling it the big dry. Australia may be used to extreme heat and sun-baked soil, but the shortage of rain this year has made conditions unbearable. John Wharton is the fifth generation of his family to farm here in the Hunter Valley, but for two years he's been living in drought. This is the mighty Page River. You can see down that bank there'd be all water across there. Uh -huh. They've had to sell half of their cattle. Others have perished. The money to buy feed has dried up too. You know, we just don't know when it's going to break. It might break next month. It might break next year. I don't know. And if it breaks next year, then, well, I won't be here probably. But I, I don't know. My father's 85, going on 86, and he reckons this is the worst drought ever. After getting down to his last bale of hay, John has been given a helping hand. People have donated money to send farmers aid. The hay shortage means this load had to travel 800 kilometres. Most areas haven't had any rain for the last 18 months. So that's not only causing a challenge for the farmers, but it's also causing challenges for the local communities. You know, the local general store doesn't sell as much as they used to. Uh, tourism businesses are closing down. So it starts to have a ripple effect. The state government has doubled its drought relief budget, but even it can't make it rain. These riverbeds should be the veins of the valley, but now, even in the middle of winter, they're stone dry. 99% of New South Wales is either in drought, drought onset, or on drought watch. And it's not the only state. Parts of Queensland are now in their sixth year of drought. It's taking a toll not just on rural economies, but on human resilience, with some farmers taking their own lives. Well, a lot of these places have been in families for you know, five, six generations. So on top of the, the issues around the depression of not being able to uh, keep your farm going, and people take that on as their fault. They're, you know, they've failed somehow, and that leads to enormous amounts of, of depression. The help John's received means he can make it through the month. What happens then depends on what falls from the sky. Howell Griffith, BBC News, in the Hunter Valley.